Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and good day. Today I'm going to give you a lecture on migraine and anti-migraine drugs. At the end of the lecture, students should be able to describe basic factor physiology, list common signs and symptoms associated with migraine, describe the management of migraine, explain the mechanism of action of migraine, abortive therapies like a triptan and ergotamine. Okay, headache. Affect nearly everyone occasionally. It is a problem for around 40% of people. One of the most frequent causes of consultation in post-general practice and neurological clinic. Okay, cause of headache, it can be attention in most common primary cause, about two-thirds of cases, and migraine is the second most frequent causes. Okay, I also have a friend which experienced a very bad headache. Maybe we can see what happened to him. Memberi bantuan kisimasan kepada kira-kira 600 lebih keluarga rohingya di Beberapa negeri Beberapa lah Beberapa Beberapa Yo, <laughs> Banyak susah Saya daripada tadi Tak tahan lah Dengar you punya cakap Macam Aduh Sekarang Ikut saya balik Ikut saya punya instruction balik Ayah Pening kepala ini Alright I hope you can get well soon Okay, migraine, a recurring headache of moderate to severe intensity associated with GI, neurology and autonomic symptom. There are a few types of headache here. Uh, first is the sinus, which is pain is usually behind the forehead or the cheekbones. Second is the cluster, which pain is in and out one eyes. Uh, sec a third is the tension. Pain is like a band squeezing the head. And lastly, a migraine. Pain, nausea and visual change are typical of a classic form. Recurrent episodic with moderate or severe intensity. Unilateral with pulsation like a dropping. Uh, last for 4 hours to 72 hours. And associated with a GI and visual symptom. There are two types of uh, classification of migraine. First is migraine without aura. Second is a migraine with aura. Migraine uh, without aura is a common migraine, while the migraine with aura is a classical migraine. Aura means a complex of focal neurologic symptoms like alteration in vision or sensation that initiate or, uh, that initiate or accompany the migraine. Uh, symptom experience before a migraine or the seizure. Migraine with aura something like you can see uh, suddenly like a, a black spot. Sometimes people experience like a, a glittering things in front uh, of him or her. For sign and symptom of migraine, about uh, 10 to 60% of Special experience prodromal symptom in hours or days before onset of headache. They might have a psychologic signs like a irritability, anxiety, depression. Second is a neurologic sign like a pornophobia, photophobia, difficulties in concentrating. It also can be autonomic sign like a polyuria, constipation and diarrhea. Prodromal is a donating the period between the uh, between the appearance of initial symptom and the full development of rash of fever. About thirty percent of patients experience aura even over five to twenty minutes and last less for sixty minutes. Symptom it would be like a uh, scintillation, a photopsia, and also trichopsia.
For migraine headaches, the pain is usually gradual in onset, peaking in intensity over minutes to hours, and also associated with GI symptoms like a nausea and vomiting. For the resolution phase, uh, it can be all exhaustion, mildness, and irritability. There are few precipitating factors like a stress, menstruation, exercise, excess caffeine use or withdrawal, food like MSG containing cheese and chocolate, uh, drugs uh, like a oral contraceptive, cocaine and also nitroglycerin. For photophysiology for migraine, exact mechanism is unclear but accepted as neuronal dysfunction. There are two theories here. First is the activity of the trigemino vascular system, uh, which can release uh, of the vasoactive. This can cause the vasodilation, uh, vasodilation and plasma extravasation and inflammation. Uh, trigemino vascular system consists of neurons in the trigeminal nerve that innervate cerebral blood vessel. Second theory is the imbalance in the activity of serotonin containing neurons and or adorogenic uh, pathway, which can cause the vasodilation and uh, also activation of the trigeminal vascular system. Basically, serotonin known as a 5-hydroxytryptamine occur in a high concentration in the wall of GIT, platelet and also CNS. Uh, for the biosynthesis and metabolism of serotonin, it starts from the tryptophan and then react with the tryptophan hydroxylase and it becomes the 5-hydroxytryptophan and then it reacts with the carboxylase. Uh, decarboxylase and become the 5-hydroxytryptamine. And it so can uh, react with the MOA, monoamine oxidase, and it become the hydroxy indo acetic acid. Okay, now we move on to the serotonin receptor. There are about seven types of serotonin receptor. Uh, we subtypes of the serotonin 1 to A to F and serotonin A in bracket A to C. I think you can uh, read this uh, further after the class. Okay, there are types of serotonin, the location and also effect of the serotonin. Okay, how to manage the migraine? There are two ways to manage the migraine. First is the pharmacological and also non-pharmacological. For pharmacological, there are two options here. Acute abortive therapy, which you can use the simple analgesic, NSAID, opiates, tripton, ergotamine, and also anti Antiemetics. There are options uh, for prophylaxis like a propanolol, pisotifan, amitriptyline, and also anticonvulsion. Okay, focus. Next. For non pharmacological uh, option, you can use the ice pack, identify and avoid the trigger factor. Uh, and also rest. Okay, this slide is show a general approach to treatment. I hope you can read uh, the lecture notes. Okay, there are a lot of uh, suggestion of treatment and also types of the uh, drugs available. Okay, what happened?